It feels like I can go flying over bumps, speed bumps, potholes, uh, and, and this motorcycle is not going to care. Hello, Dylan from the Auto Company here in Columbus, Ohio, in front of the, like I said in the last video, the second most famous red gate from Moto Guzzi. Uh, we're a Royal Enfield dealer. We're a Moto Guzzi dealer where you do vintage motorcycles. Wow. I actually did not plan that, but that's how it works. Those are the three things we focus on. Uh, and today we're focusing on this, which is a 2016 Moto Guzzi V7 Stornello. And this motorcycle is, there was only a thousand of them made. Uh, it's obviously scrambler style. This is pretty much stock. This is the Michelin Anarchy tires, at least in the rear that it would come with. Um, this is the exhaust, the two-in-one high pipe. This is the reason and the, and the kind of racy, uh, sporty number plate stuff that they have on there is the reason you get this motorcycle. Uh, it is missing this one little piece right here, which I have on order. Um, but other than that, we've gone through this. I personally did the service on this motorcycle, refreshed it, cleaned it up. This is used, um, but like I said, a limited edition. So they only made a thousand of these, 391 of 1,000. Uh, so you see them, they all look exactly like this. If you've ever seen another one, you think, I saw the same bike. Pretty much. Uh, so this has been cleaned up, restored exactly to how it should have been or would have been when it came out, but uh, a very cool motorcycle. We're going to take a ride on it, and I'm going to tell you what it's like to ride a bike like this. I'm a big fan of Scrambler, Scrambler Exhaust. I've got a whole uh, 360 video, kind of maybe holy, holy, get some cool shots of that Scrambler Exhaust. It does the thing all Moto Guzzi's do. When you start it up, it shakes. It shakes to the side. It's got a very cool kickstand. I love it very simple works well there's my buddy Zach showing up uh, we get a cool shot for him um, anyway let's take this bike around the loop we might be able to beat this light let's do it we got a scrambler we can go up a curb probably too much wind noise there I apologize for that working on my video my sound today a lot of traffic all of a sudden this bike feels nimble. It's a 750, 750 cc's. Uh, the modern V7s, that's kind of what V7 means, 700, 750. And then modern V7s are 850. Everything has the same, essentially the same basic engine now. And that's the V85, V7, and the V9 are the current models. Uh, V100 is supposed to come out soon, if you're watching this in the future. Probably is out, and you love it, and it's taken over the world, and everybody has one. So, you don't need me to tell you about it. This bike feels like a scrambler, and it has more street tires. Uh, by, by that I mean the suspension is soft. Uh, it feels like I can go flying over bumps, speed bumps, potholes. Uh, and, and this motorcycle is not going to care. This motorcycle is for sale. It's a used uh, Moto Guzzi, but it is for sale. I cannot remember the price on it. 6500 I believe. 65500 6500 And uh, that's, that's what these go for. That's pretty much the standard uh, pricing for these. Like I said, they're all the same color. They all look the same. There was only a thousand of them made, so... Um, there's not a lot out there, but if you ever see one for sale, you got one to compare it to. And 6500 is a good price. I keep checking on my camera. I'm a little worried it's hanging out there. But hopefully I got some great shots and it was totally worth it. And hopefully it does not fall off. This bike runs great. Uh, 750 is actually a lot of power. For the way the Moto Guzzi's deliver power, 
they have this kind of heavy flywheel action they build up momentum they're not quick to rev but once they build up some speed or whatever they just pull like a train it's awesome it's very cool it's not like anything else other than the closest thing is like an airhead bmw if you've seen my other moto guzzi videos by now that i, I do this in the loop um show on our channel often and i i been saying the same things it, it's like an air-cooled bmw and that's just that's just the truth People that are into one are, are usually into the other. We have uh, a guy recently traded in an air-cooled BMW on a Moto Guzzi. So um, that's, those are their fans. They like the same things. They're very similar bikes. Uh, they have, uh, they're built like a car as far as the, the sort of drivetrain design. They have the engine in front. Jeez. Uh, they have the engine in front. Then they have a transmission. Then they have a wet single-plate clutch. As I use the, overuse the clutch there. Uh, behind it the clutch and uh, you don't really notice it works like a normal clutch but it is a little different um, it's like a pressure plate rather than like lifting off the springs on a multi-plate wet clutch um, kind of cool kind of interesting the reason that you're into Moto Guzzi's is uh, a couple reasons obviously it could be a lot of reasons but it's because you like the style you like the heritage. They've been around for over 100 years in the same factory. They're essentially all hand-built in Italy, uh, a place called Mandalo, Mandello del Lario, which is written down. I don't know if you can read that. Very cool. Uh, they're very proud of their heritage, and uh, they are very Italian. You know, uh, I'm surprised some of this stuff that says made, and that's an English word. Sometimes you just get Italian. <laughs> you know, when our parts show up and it says spark plug or whatever it's just in italian it's just like i don't know what this is <laughs> so it's kind of fun um it, or the re another reason you might be into the moto guzzi is uh like i said you fall in love with the look and the style and you saw this bike and you just thought i want a scrambler but i don't want like a triumph street scrambler i want something a little bit more characterful a little bit more unique and uh that's definitely this motorcycle it compares really well to a triumph street scrambler uh, that's like the 900, and uh, it, you know the looks are very similar, and uh, the power very similar. Delivery power delivery is pretty different. It's a twin, but that's a parallel twin, kind of a different idea. Plenty of power there. That's full throttle, but uh, this thing gets up and goes, and it has that shaft drive, so that's pretty cool. If you were really going to use this bike for the scrambler purpose. Uh, the shaft drive is really nice for that. If you think about it, it requires no maintenance. It's not a chain that's gonna get dirty. It's not gonna get wet, covered in mud, rust. It's all self-contained in there. So if you think about your drive shaft on a car, you never do maintenance on your drive shaft. You know, it, it just is in there. And, it, and on a motorcycle, or a Moto Guzzi specifically, it's even more uh, of a thing you wouldn't worry about because it's inside of something. It's contained in there. It's in the swing arm. It's part of it. You never even notice it. So, but what you do notice is that kind of immediate power delivery. When I let off the throttle, the engine braking is a little bit more direct. Uh, it's something that I think everyone should experience because it's unique. For some people, they fall in love. Moto Guzzi, that's all, the only thing I care about in the world. Um, for me, I... I think it's very cool, very interesting, very unique. I like unique motorcycles. If you've been around and you've had a lot of motorcycles, no doubt you have eventually considered a Moto Guzzi because they're unique. They're, they have character. These are the things, whenever you watch my, one of my Moto Guzzi videos, you get tired of hearing me say it, but they're weird in a good way. And that's my best way of saying it. This bike, you can really hear it hum. You can really hear it. You know, it's funny. Like, think about the most famous V twin, right? That's Harley Davidson, right? A uh, Harley Davidson is a 45 degree V twin, meaning the cylinders are 45 degrees apart. Most of them. Uh, obviously, the new ones are a little bit different, V rod thing like that. But but the typical, the standard uh, Harley Davidson V twin is 45 degrees. This is 90 degrees, so it's the same basic cylinder design of the engine or the layout but a little wider apart. So you have a very similar sound. When you hear the exhaust, uh, you, you do hear a little bit, I mean, it's quieter. Nobody ever has a, rarely do you hear a Moto Guzzi that's like a loud, like a Harley. But uh, 
it does have that same breathy V-twin sound that is awesome. It's typical, stereotypical motorcycle. It sounds great. This bike has a little bit of gear whine, which I kind of like. Some people don't like. I've seen on Facebook people complain about it or whatever. But, uh, you know, it's got a big bevel drive in the rear end, so sometimes that'll get a little noisy. Like I said, I've recently serviced this, so it has uh, all new gear oil in the rear end and everything. That's the only thing you ever have to do for maintenance. And, it, and the only reason I did it, it's like every 18,000 miles. Um, but the only reason I did it is because I didn't know. Uh, it's a used bike. It's new to us. I didn't know the condition of it. Probably didn't need it, but... Uh, just, you know, every couple of years you change that gear oil depending on how many miles you're putting on your bike. This is an awesome city bike. Uh, it would be fine on the highway. Like, it definitely has the power for the highway. I don't know about the comfort for the highway. It's a very upright standing position. It's a very standard stand uh, riding position. You know another thing? This might be sort of an entry-level uh, Moto Guzzi, and by that, I mean, by that I mean your entry into Moto Guzzi. You have another bike, and you've always kind of been curious, Guzzi curious, and... Uh, these cylinders, this is something I've heard from people, and I sort of, uh, it's not as silly as it sounds, because I sort of thought of this at first. Those boxer engines, the, the BMWs are even more this way, but I thought maybe the cylinder, maybe my leg would, like, interfere with the cylinder, and I've heard people bring that up, and they're sort of, like, embarrassed to bring that up. It's nowhere near it. If you look where, uh, where my leg is, it's just nowhere near the cylinder, and it's cool because for sort of weight purposes... Those, the, the top of the cylinders, the highest point, is right where my knees are, like right in front of it. Like I don't mean interfering wise, but like mentally, I can imagine those cylinders there. And when you're going around turns and stuff, the weight for that reason is ultra predictable. You know, it's V-shaped, all the weight, being, the weight being concentrated down low, right where you want it, center of gravity. And then my knees are the top point, so I can kind of, as I'm taking those turns, visualize it and it just seems very natural it feels fantastic i've never ridden a moto guzzi that didn't handle really well that is a thing they focus on uh the italians love their handling they got very curvy roads there and uh it, it this is no exception it handles well the suspension is softer than you would typically think on a handling bike um but that's because it's got the scrambler attitude uh which I love. I, my own personal bike is a Scrambler. So, no, no, of course, there's no doubt that I would love this bike. We, you saw me just pass the Griso. Same year. These are, these are brothers from the same litter. Uh, and check out my other video on that. I'm sure it's up now or else it's coming afterwards. But uh, this has uh, aftermarket adjustable levers. But other than that, mostly you're looking at a mostly stock bike. Runs fantastic. You can see that idle holding steady right about 1,200. Uh, fuel injected. It, this is, you know, everything was fuel injected in 2016 uh, for Moto Guzzi, so not something you'd have to you'd have to think about. I'm, I'm getting this side to side shake as I'm sitting here, and that happens when you're at a light shake side to side. When you take off, the uh, vibrations smooth out, and you and you don't even notice it when you're moving. But when I'm sitting here like this now, I'm definitely feeling it, and it's fun. It's cool. It's comforting. It's a heartbeat. You know, it's awesome. Uh, so anyway, this bike is for sale if you like it. Um, if you are interested in hearing more about it, uh, check it out or send us a message, please, uh, or a comment or uh, email or call the shop. It's uh, info at throttlecompany.com, and uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions on that. And uh, check out my other videos. In the Loop is the series. I take you around the loop. Hopefully I gave you an idea of what this is like to ride, um, especially in the city, stomping around on the city streets and the not-so-great streets in traffic. It's an awesome motorcycle for that. I love this motorcycle. If I had, had been introduced to this motorcycle uh, before I got my uh, Royal Enfield 650 uh, Interceptor Scrambler, I, I might have considered this instead because it's just it's more unique. I, I really do like that Interceptor, and I rode it home last night, and it's fantastic. But, it, you know, it, it's just it would have been a tough choice. So, anyway... Uh, Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.